Okay, so during the Devil's Tango, it's very common to do this thing called a hickey, where basically it's when you decide to suck on someone's neck or, you know, basically any part of their body. And the one time where I ended up leaving my mark, I ended up instantly regretting it. And let's just say this story does get really insane. So before I get into it, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do this and it changes my life for the better. Just do it. Just subscribe right now. But other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to one of the most embarrassing stories ever. So this happened in my grade 12 year. And in grade 12, I remember I was 18 and I was allowed to go to bars and casinos and we'll basically do all the illegal things that most kids can't do nowadays. Not saying that drinking in bars and stuff is illegal, but if you're doing it underage, well, it is illegal. Obviously here in Canada, we have different rules set for when we can do these things. As for Americans, well, tough luck. You have to wait till you're 21 and out of school. As for me, well, in my grade 12 year, I was able to do these things before the school year ended. And I remember one time me and my friends, we decided to go to a bar and we ended up going to one of the bars that most people went to in my city. It's a very common thing to go to this bar and a lot of my friends like like to go to the bar and stuff because you know it felt like we were becoming real adults even though we were still only in grade 12. I remember me and my friends when we ended up going into this bar we decided to try to go riz up some girls and stuff and I remember as I was at the bar waiting for my beer out of nowhere there was a woman that ended up coming up right beside me and this woman she looked like you know any other woman except she looked a lot older than usual but still that wasn't gonna stop me because well like I said I want to feel like an adult at that time so I ended up basically chatting her up and me and her we ended up having a pretty good conversation we ended up talking about life and stuff and basically how you know school sucks which is something that me and her both understood even though i doubt she was in school at that moment but then i started to realize more and more why she didn't like school going on though i remember me and her we ended up having such a good time to the point where we ended up drinking a decent amount and we ended up actually going back to her place when we went to her place i remember i was basically just ready to do the devil's tango and that's exactly what we did we ended up doing the devil's tango and by the way i probably should mention that this girl did not know exactly how old i was apparently i looked a lot older because at that time i was growing my beard really easily and i guess facial hair makes anyone look a lot older like for example i'm actually 22 but a lot of you guys probably think that i'm 30 or you know 27 even though no i'm only 22 years old i was literally in high school like what five years ago but anyways going on with the story i remember from there when i went to her place and after doing the whole devil's tango with her i remember midway through i ended up putting a hickey on her neck if you guys don't know what a hickey is it's basically like a black spot that you put on like someone's skin from sucking on it for so long i'm gonna say this much it wasn't the only one i left on her i'm not gonna say any more than that because i don't want youtube to demonetize this video but yeah that has happened and then i remember from there basically me and her we ended up basically like you know talking after a bit and then i told her that i had to get back because i had school tomorrow she found it really funny how i said i had school tomorrow and probably took it as a joke when in reality i'm not gonna lie to you i was being dead serious not that i told her that because it was none of her business but i ended up basically getting my clothes on and ended up leaving and going back to my place when i went back to my place it was like 3 a.m and i was already like super exhausted and i'm not gonna lie i only got like four hours of sleep until my alarm ended up going off and I had to get ready for school. I remember I got ready for school and stuff and right as I walked into my high school my buddy walks up to me walking me to my first class. He ends up telling me did you ever like end up like going back with that chick to her place? Oh uh, yeah I did it was a pretty good time. I don't know we just only did the devil's tango. But she was like a pretty decent person. She looked a lot older than usual didn't she? Yeah she did but eh it's whatever. Maybe she's like a couple years older than me. Maybe like four or five years older than me. It doesn't matter. And I remember when we walked into the classroom the teacher's pet was there. Now you guys are probably wondering why am I calling a person a teacher's pet well basically this person would suck up to every teacher that ever walked into the classroom and she ended up looking at us saying oh guys did you guys know there's a new teacher coming in do you think we care like generally anyways we ended up telling her no like we didn't hear about the new teacher coming in and she said it was a substitute that came straight out of you know teaching school or whatever teachers go through to become a teacher and basically he's teaching our class for the first time we ended up basically looking at each other and we're like oh great it's gonna be some like new teacher which is honestly something we really did not care about once again but then afterwards when everyone was sitting in their seats we ended up waiting for the teacher and this teacher ended up arriving 10 minutes late don't know why she's like why would teachers be late well the reason for this teacher being late was because of me because right as she walked into the classroom instantly i looked over at the door and i instantly recognized her not only for her amazing cherries but for every part of her that i remembered and then i remember as she walked up to the front of the classroom she was wearing a really tight turtleneck and at that moment i knew exactly why she was wearing a turtleneck because of the mark i left her the night before i remember when she walked up in front of the classroom she instantly looked at me and locked eyes with me and instantly recognized who i was and i remember when she locked eyes with me she started freaking out and so did i in my mind i was thinking uh okay what do i say here do i do 
do I, should I say something? Is there a point of saying something? Should I be like, hey, like, what's going on? And say her first name as if we were already on like a first name basis. But I remember afterwards, she looked at me and basically turned around, took a deep breath, and then she ended up writing her name on the board. And I'm not gonna lie to you, she ended up making up some things on the spot to make her feel like that, you know, I didn't know her, even though I did kind of know her that night, but going on. I remember after that really awkward interaction, she ended up teaching the classroom and basically the whole time she couldn't stop looking at me. She kept looking at me as if I, you know, betrayed her, did her wrong, lied to her, which I mean, I might have done all those things realistically, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't my fault. And the one thing that she kept during teaching was her neck because she kept like kind of like covering her hand around her turtle neck, kind of like playing with it and basically trying to like, you know, have like the feeling of regret by like touching it. I don't know. I don't know what she was doing to be honest with you guys. And she was just really weirded out. I remember in class, it got to the point where she ended up handing out an assignment. And basically when she handed my piece of paper to me, she told me to meet her outside because we needed to talk. I found it really weird. And so did everyone else, because obviously she wouldn't know anything about me or my grades because well, it was her first time meeting me, but I ended up standing up and I knew she wanted to talk about something else. So I ended up standing up and going outside and waiting for her. When I waited for her, she ended up coming out literally two seconds after handing out the sheets. And she walked up to me and closed the door saying, okay, Bubba, what are you doing here? I go to school here? No, I get that, but like, you told me like you were like a student. Yeah, I'm a student here. Okay, well, you should have told me you were still in high school. I didn't think that was an issue at the time. Well, it is. Like, I'm 27. You're like, what? Just turning 18? Yeah, I turned 18 two months ago. Are you kidding me? Like, she started freaking out and she started basically getting really upset with me. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no idea why. Because I really did perform well. And to be honest, she probably loved it when we did the Devil's Tango. But I'm not gonna lie, it got to the point where she ended up looking at me saying, Bubba, you do realize you did this, right? and she instantly pulls down her turtleneck and she shows me the mark i left on her now i'm not gonna lie this was a pretty ugly hickey and i think that it made me realize that probably hickeys aren't the way to go to leave a mark on a girl there's many ways to do it but at the same time i can't talk about it because youtube made demonetize this video but going on with the story i remember from there it got really awkward and me and her we just ended up standing outside the classroom just basically looking at each other and i'm not gonna lie kind of got romantic to the point where we started leaning into each other and me thinking that we were gonna make out instantly a student ends up walking around the corner of the hallway we were talking in and we ended up going quiet we went quiet and walked back into the classroom and she just kept staring at me and that whole time in class things got really really awkward i remember like 20 minutes later the bell ended up ringing we ended up basically all leaving the classroom and me i started basically heading straight to my car because at that point i really did not want to be at school that day i felt sick i felt gross and when i went towards the car instantly i saw my teacher walking up behind me saying Baba, where are you going i'm going home you're skipping school oh my goodness you're one of those bad boys in high school aren't you are you good bro like uh, dude this teacher was being really weird with me and i'm not gonna lie to you i just instantly opened my car door and got inside and she walked up to my window saying bubba you can't leave why can't i it's wrong to skip school like what are you doing okay listen you're not my mom you're not my dad you're just my teacher for one class like i gotta go i turned on my car and drove away when i drove away i remember kind of just like weirded out and i really just didn't know what to think but as i was driving i ended up getting a text message on my phone of a random number and this number was my teacher's number yes my teacher ended up putting her number on my phone when i was basically at her place doing the devil's tango kind of crazy i know and honestly those are signs of like a psycho chick but at the same time i really did not care back in high school i'm gonna be free with you guys like <laughs> it is what it is but when i got a text of her saying that she wanted me to come back i ended up turning my car i ended up going back to the school and i saw her still standing in the parking lot waiting for me i ended up getting out of my class and i told her yo like don't you have a class to teach um no i have another class to teach like after this block but honestly can you like give me a tour around the school and stuff sure why not i ended up basically giving her a walk around the school and basically showing her like you know the school and stuff and basically kind of like showing her as if i was like a leadership kid which i was that year funny enough but going on with the story i remember me and her we ended up basically going back to my car and we still had lunch time to basically go through so me and her we ended up doing the devil's tango in my car and a student ended up catching us and yeah i got in insane trouble and she got suspended from the school so i guess me showing her the school was for absolutely no reason but this just goes to show that maybe doing it with your teachers and leaving a hickey on them isn't a good idea because they might get really attacked Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.